Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Costume Quest 2. We have gone back into the past, not quite sure where or when, but we're trying to stop Dr. White from stealing some sort of talisman and ruining Halloween and banning candy. Basically, we're trying to stop the worst future ever. Now, we've arrived in this unusual place. Not sure what's going on, but... Ooh, a uh, giant crocodile. Uh, another one. Uh, you know what? Ah, I can smack him. Right. I, f I thought these two were just, you know, here just to be, you know, set dressing, but nope, you can attack him. And Monty's Gator Giddy Up. Huh. This kid seems to be fighting a gator for something. Hey, it's Monty. Hey, y'all, don't just stand there holding your pails. Help me. Whoa, what are you doing with that gator? Some of my girls got loose and thought it would be funny to rip up my costume on Halloween. That looks dangerous. Why don't you just let her have it? I worked all week on my costume. I'm not about to let these gators ruin my night. Look around and see if you can find the other pieces. I've got this one handled. And hurry up before Gertie gets all bitey on my arms. It's time for Gator Wrestling. We've got to help him find pieces of his costume. And they just probably are going to be with the Gators. But first we're going to wander around because there's some new stuff in this game. Yeah, you've got the little pieces of things you can smack get candy out of it, but you also have hidden secrets like candy pinatas. Smack it a bunch of times to get a whole bunch of candy. I love those. And there's all sorts of candy pinatas scattered around the world. You also, got a pile of leaves, but we can't seem to affect that. We'll have to come back for that. For now, we've got this gator hanging out here. Won't let us pass. Maybe we need to go into the gator pen. Do not feed the alligators. I love that it's a picture of a kid's head in the gator's mouth. Yeah, I really don't recommend that. So, if you've played the first game, you'll be familiar with the idea of ramping. Launch ourselves in here with the alligators. Yeah, that seems wise. But we've got one who's sporting a rather interesting wig. Smack him. Uh, no, smack this one. To get the rainbow wig. We got a few more. Let's keep smacking these guys. Oh, he had something in his mouth. A squeaky horn. Yeah, you can probably already guess what this costume is going to be. Oh, they had to pick this one. So now, this guy has got a... Well, he's got a Rudolph nose. Smack it to steal it back from him. A foam ball. We got all three parts. Let's ramp on up. Yeah. You know what this is going to be. Let's go back to Monty. Oh, that didn't go so well. But hey, he got it. We found your costume pieces, I think. There's alligator drool on some of it. My clown costume. Halloween is saved. Oh, God, it's a clown. Your Halloween is saved, but Halloween in the future is doomed. What you mean? It's a long story, but we're here to save it. We just need to find a coven of witches guarding a talisman somewhere around here. You mean them bog witches? I can show you where they are. We just gotta rustle up a boat. So, quest complete, and third party member! This is Monty! A resident of this bayou area, apparently. And... A guy who made a clown costume. A grease paint laden buffoon who will do anything for a laugh. The clown's focus is a healer. Laughter is the best medicine is a special. He executes a perfectly timed pratfall to bring healing laughter to his allies. And Exploration Billy actually has one this time. Squeaky Horn. Monty lent us this costume after we helped him round up the pieces from his gators. So, yeah, giant, squeaky, horned, freaky clown. But you have no idea yet how freaky. Okay, Monty, get your gator out of the way. That's not one of mine. I ain't going near her. Well, how do you move a gator? 
You can try using my squeaky horn. They really hate the sound of this thing. Okay, let me try on that clown costume. So now, you can switch around. And this shows the different aspects. It's magic, tech, and monster. As we saw, the superhero is strong against magic, weak versus tech. The clown is strong versus magic, weak versus monster. So both of these are good against magic enemies. Hopefully we'll encounter a bunch of those. The candy corn is strong versus monster, weak versus magic. That doesn't matter for attacking, but the great thing is if you're fighting against monster enemies, they'll barely do any damage to the candy corn. But for now, we need to switch up. You can choose who you're controlling, but switch up the superhero costume for the clown costume. And now, we've got an exploration ability the squeaky horn. Walk up to him. And he did not like it that, or she. Haha, <laughs> look at her go. So now we wander around and, ooh, creepy guy. That's a nice costume. Looking for witches, huh? You're gonna need a boat. Dang. You look cadaverous. I'm a skeleton kid. Get over it. You've got a boat? Sure do. And I'll take you right to them for a price. Keep talking. I came here for candy, but these human grown-ups are stingy. They just scream and slam the door in my face. Well, kid, your costume's a little too frightening. I need you to fill my pail up with candy and bring it back to me. Trick or treat at every house and bring me the mother load. Then we can talk about going to the bog to see those witches. You want us to trick or treat, huh? I think we can manage that. I mean a ton. So much candy that you're embarrassed to be seen with it. I'll wait for you at the dock in town. You knew this was coming. We're going to be trick or treating. Yep, you go knock up, uh, knock up, knock on some house's doors and... You might get an enemy, you might get a trick-or-treat, or, um, like a human house. Hey, you know what? Time to punch the clock. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, God, he is terrifying. Now, here's a cool thing. You'll notice the superhero costume there on Monty. Yeah, depending if it's a male or female character, the superhero will look different. Kind of a cool touch. Also, a neat aspect, the special meter is tied to the character, not the costume. So, because Ren had a full meter, she was able to have a full meter here for the clown costume. But we don't need a heal yet. Now, the clown is weak against uh, monsters, so let's go ahead and attack Tech. Start working on him. And you'll see their HP is a little lower because we got a surprise attack on them. Candy corn is registered as a deadly weapon. And you're weak against tech, so you're going to be going up here. Not too bad. Okay, and you saw that it went, like, it changed the color. For the candy corn, because candy corn is strong against monsters, the damage was reduced after it hit him. But because uh, the superhero is weak against tech, the damage increases. Not really anything you can do about that other than make sure you're attacking the right person to make the battles go quicker. Ooh, an amazing hit. Candy Corn stays the course. Now, I know the superhero is weak against tech, but I want to go ahead and kill him just to get him out of the battle. <laughs> no damage to speak of. This should do a little less. Yeah, 22 knocks it down to 18. Not the greatest thing, but, you know, maybe. Ooh, I did not get the timing right, so we got one more attack to deal with here. And let's go ahead and have the clown finish him off. Totally creepy. Hey, we get a creepy treat card. And we leveled up. Let's go ahead and check our notebook to look at creepy treat cards. These are kind of like reusable items during battle. For example, fruit flakes, mutes a minion's at magic attacks. Now specific wording is important. You'll notice sometimes they'll say enemy, sometimes they'll say minion. Minion obviously means you can't use it on a boss or a big special enemy, but you can use it on any standard 
small enemies you come across. We're going to show off every creepy treat card in the game. But for now, we're ignoring the ca uh, the different houses because come talk to Shady, I got creepy treat cards you can't get anywhere else. It's Shady! Somehow he's back in the past. Shady, what are you doing way out here? Shh, keep it down, kid. Don't want to attract attention. How did you get out of Repugia? I got clients all over. I go where the action is, kid. But this is decades in the past. You think I'm going to let some chump from the past take all my business? Psh, you don't know Shady. So listen, you want some creepy treat cards or not? I got some good ones in here. Yes, he sells all sorts of stuff. He sells creepy treat cards. He also sells maps. They're not the most useful, but they're very helpful. Get a lay of the land, track trick or treat doors, costume pieces, and secrets. You want the maps. Typically, I say buy them as soon as you can. Super helpful. Now, because I'm playing this on the PlayStation, we have a special bonus costume you don't get on any other version. Sack boy. A boy made out of a sack. Cute. And it's only five candy, so let's buy it from him. I love the sack boy costume. Now we can buy one more piece of candy. What am I gonna choose? Snickets. I'm gonna use this probably more than any other creepy treat card out there. So can't buy any more, but we'll be able to get more later. Take care, kid. Somewhere else, I can't be discreet with you kids hanging out, hanging around. So now we've got a map. Yeah, it's a hand-drawn map. Doesn't show you where you currently are, but you kind of figure things out. You can see Shady's uh, symbol in the top left there. Bunch of cards. You can see where time portals are, where any healing spots are, and where all the houses are. And as we trick or treat, it will actually show us them getting marked off. So you can keep track of which houses you still need to hit. Speaking of, you'll see on the map, there's a house right here. Let's knock on the door for our first one. And yes, I'm wearing the Sackboy costume. Now, before we go forward, we now have four costumes. The candy corn is mostly useless in battle. However, you can play through the entire game keeping one character on the candy corn costume to get a special trophy slash achievement called hard corn. Makes the game harder, takes longer. It's a great challenge to try for. I am not going to be doing that on this playthrough because I feel like it just won't be as enjoyable to watch. So we're going to change up the candy corn for, you know what? Let's have Ren will be the superhero and Monty will get to wear his clown costume. So no hardcore and trophy, but we're going to get everything else in the game. Let's go ahead, knock on the door. Just in case we got a battle, I want to be prepared. You will not ruin my deal with the dentist. We do have a battle. So let's check out Sackboy, which is a super cute costume to start with. Yep, it's good old sack boy. We got three enemies. They're all monsters, which sack boy is weak towards. Of course he is. I think all three of these might be weak toward him, which is not good. Um, I'm gonna focus on the first one because he's weaker. Got less health, we wanna get him out of the way first. Okay, well, at least the superhero is not weak toward them. Yeah, but you are a clown, so hopefully I can do enough. Oh, good, enough to kill him. Come on, don't attack the clown. That's all I'm asking. Hmm, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Little Big Beatdown on this combatant. Why not, huh? Eh, he just falls away. It does a lot of damage to one enemy, and 
some splash damage to the enemies around him. I probably should have used that as the first turn move, but just didn't really think of it. And we've almost got him! There we go! Now, before anything else, we got Creepy Treat cards. We don't really care about muting this guy's magic, so let's double the candy reward. This is great to use when you're fighting three enemies, or there's a specific couple of enemies that you really want to use the Snickets on. He unzips and pulls the card out. Yeah, every costume has a different Creepy Treat card animation, so we'll make sure to show off each of those as well as we go. But for now... Oh, uh, I think, yeah, Monty should be strong enough to take him out. Got him! We got 112 candy for that. Nice. So, we have cleared out this house, and now on the map you'll see an X mark through it. So it's time to keep exploring, find some more stuff, and also, hey, who are you hiding here? You found me. I'm playing hide-and-seek with my friends. Wanna play? If you find all six of us, you get a prize. Yep, hide-and-seek is back as well. Now, we're wandering around here. First of all, we got an alligator, but remember, they don't like the clown horn. So, get him out of the way for a treasure chest. Ooh. Costume material, greenish yellow fabric. Also, we've got a kid who's dressed as a devil holding a fiddle. Nice little reference there, guys. Let's go ahead and talk with him. Duelo del Diablo. New quest. Did you come to duel the best? Because I'm the best. The best at what? At dueling! There's no one better in the bayou. Or more humble, apparently. That's true. I'm also the humblest, but I'm known more for being the best. Anyway, that looks like an instrument you have there. Do you dare challenge me to a duel? This squeaky horn? It's not really a musical instrument. Oh, I thought you were a clown at first, but it turns out you're actually a chicken. Buck, buck, buck. Okay, game on. It's going to feel good to take your pterodactyl pattern. He's pretty good. And now it's our turn. And I'm sorry for this, but... Oh, I missed my chance. Interesting technique, but let's see if you can handle this. <laughs> Yeah, all you gotta do is just mash the circle button. Oh, I accidentally cut through those real quick. You know what? I'll flash up the bot, uh, spots I missed on the screen real quick. And for the final one, how about we call it a draw? I'll give you the pterodactyl pattern and you keep this between us. Sounds fine to me. We both know who really won anyway. We do? Who was it? Me, right? Or you? How can you even tell? <laughs> and so, we get a costume pattern. What's a pterodactyl? It's an awesome flying dinosaur. Let's look around for materials so we can build it. Bunch of experience, and now we know what that costume material we got was for. Yep, we're going to be making a pterodactyl costume. Still got to find two more pieces, though. And let's wander around. Let's see, where do we want to go next? Let's hit up these three houses at the top here. Also, a cool thing, hidden secrets. Now, first of all, you'll see on the map we found secrets one of five. I believe this counts as a secret. Dino slippers. No, that didn't count as a secret. Okay, well, we're still going to find all the secrets, but that one apparently didn't count as one. So, knock on the door, and what do we have? Get your pails ready, here it comes! 
you know, they try to make it super suspenseful as whether you're going to be attacked or given candy, but if the door opens fast, it's always a human giving candy, and if it opens slow, it's always an enemy. Kind of a dead giveaway. And I just realized I'm dressed as the clown. Change that, please. I do not want to see that animation again. Clowns are freaky. Must not get the talisman before I... What are we fighting this time? And, yeah, we've seen that already. Um, oh, right, I didn't heal up. Okay, let's go after you, because I'm not weak to you. And same with you. Yeah, the superhero and Sackboy are the same weakness and strength, which is kind of funny. There we go. What are you gone? <laughs> Not too much damage there. Or, well, actually, I guess it increased the damage he did to me. Let's try this one for here. Nice. Now, Monty, I hope you can take him out in one hit. Got him! Ooh, Ghost Munch. Minions attacks damage itself. New Creepy Tree card. You'll get them all, like creepy treat cards from all over the place. Some battles, quests, buying from Shady, all sorts of stuff. One more house. I figure we don't need to heal up at this point. It's another battle. Seek the talisman. No more human child. The dentist must have it. Yeah, when you play trying to get the hardcore trophy, you really end up healing up after almost every battle. So you can get a little tea. What are we fighting? Not uh, two of them. Hmm. You know, why not? Uh, minions attacks damage itself. Let's use that on you. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna do that with the superhero because I want to show that off with somebody else using the card. No. Superhero does more damage. Clown's gonna use the card this time. I know, I know, I'm leaving an enemy alive and I should just kill him off, but... I'm gonna use this up. <laughs> creepy, creepy face. Nice block there, and you see he's flashing. Uh, of course. Instead of attacking, he uses special. I contemplated using Muta Minion's magic attacks, but I decided against it, figuring he probably won't do that. Oh, that's what I get. So you know what? Punch him in the face. Now, next turn, he should use a regular attack and hurt himself. Come on, don't let me down, game. Yes, he attacked himself and killed himself. Oh, another Ghost Munch card. As you can expect, you'll be trading Creepy Treat cards again. And, oh hey! Was it the moaning that gave me away? Found two of six. Stop by the fountain, heal up and save. And I think that's probably enough for this episode. Take a look at our map. We've got eight more houses to hit down here. We found both costume pieces that are down in this area, though, so gonna have to go to somewhere new to finish off that pterodactyl costume. Got a couple quests, and I realized I never looked at Sack Boy! A boy made out of a sack! Cute! <laughs> Focus on cute damage, little big beatdown, and Got it from Shady. Not a whole lot of information there. I feel like they should have added a little more, but whatever. It is a free extra costume, basically. And of course, like last time, different costumes will give different bonuses to stats. More HP, attack, different stuff from the costume or the pails, stuff like that. So, the clown costume being a healer, a little heavier on the health, a little weaker on the damage. 
And actually, let me look at the creepy tree cards. Yep, we've got... Yeah, just these three cards. And they have a set amount of battles you have to be in for them to replenish to use. In fact, I think it might be all battles, or all creepy treat cards require three battles to use. I'll flash up on screen if that's incorrect. Anyway, that's going to do it for this time. We've started our trick-or-treating in the past in the bayou. Next time, we're going to hit up the rest of the houses and hopefully find those bog witches. Something tells me it's not going to be quite that easy. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.